Hey guys, on my other channel, I'm about to hit 100,000 subscribers. So I'm making a custom hand painted PC case. So this is the video that goes in depth on how I created that case and went about painting it. So enjoy. So my current PC is about four years old. It was a budget build when I made it. It's still really good for video editing, but it can't play any AAA games whatsoever. It just does not have the power. So it's about time we built a high-end PC. Now, the theme of this is of course Rainbow Six Siege, and I decided, first of all, I wanted to have Mute in this build somehow because he's one of the most played characters. And then I also wanted to have Cav appear in this build because I think it I think it's the way she holds her pistol in this photo, but it's just so goddamn unique and really cool. I love that look she's got. So I went and I stylized these two characters into something that originally I was going to do stencils and try and do them that way, but it turned to be a little bit too complicated for stencils. So I decided to actually hand paint both of these guys onto the case. So of course we need a case to begin with. And I ended up selling it on the Game Max Silent. So this thing is surprisingly cheap. I only I got it for just under 50 quid. And it's a damn good case with a lot of good features. It's got a very fractal design kind of look to it and style, but a lot cheaper. And it's soundproofed, so it's perfect for me doing lots of voiceovers to have a very silent PC. And it's also got lots of room and lots of surface area to paint on, so we can actually do something really cool with it. The idea that I had was very minimalist, very simple, but very unique, very cool, and something you definitely wouldn't have seen anywhere else. In this case, I think kind of matches that perfectly. It's kind of got a minimalist look, but it also has some features that are perfect for customizing it. So it's got all the IO you would expect on a PC case, USB 3, USB 2, headphone ports. It's got fan controllers as well, which is really cool. And it's got a front door, which is very good again for customizing. We can paint that up really cool. And it's got this removable part on top, which is soundproofed as well which is great because then we can paint that without actually having to lug the case around, which is good. And it can be replaced with a fan filter if I decide I want more cooling in the future. So I started by taking my stylized version of Mute and transferring him with pencil over to the side panel. And as you can see here, this is a speeded up time lapse of me painting him. And I really wanted it to be that you would like see this case and it would look cool and then you'd actually get close and you would see that it was hand painted. I didn't want it to look like a perfect glossy finish. I wanted it to be a very matte and very much you could see all of the brush strokes. So you can see here I'm giving it a second coat to really bring out the white and that's all I'm going to do. So we end up with this mute who is really cool on the side of the case. And of course if you've never played Rainbow Six Siege before you're not going to have any idea who the hell mute is. But the idea with this is that if you do play Rainbow Six Siege, you're going to look at this case and go, yeah, that is mute immediately. You're going to know that that is him. And I think the fact he's got that cross over his gas mask really helps to sell the fact that this is mute. And then next up was doing Cav. Now, since Cav was released, I have absolutely loved her character. And I love that kind of original picture of her being released with her gun up against her face. It's just so amazing and it looks great and of course when you stylize it to something like this it makes it very visible. So if you're a Rainbow Six Siege fan again you go ahead and you look at this and you know exactly who this character is even though it's very stylized and I think it looks really cool. I think she looks really cool and this is why I picked her for the other side panel. And again doing the second coat right now to really bring out the white and make it a really good contrast between the black side panels. And again, I want it to look like it has been hand painted so that you get a sense of really, I have put time into this and it hopefully looks that way when it's done. So again, there's Cav finished. I think she looks freaking awesome. I'm really happy with how she came out. And then that panel that's on the top that's able to be taken off, that's where I decided to put the R6 logo. And that is because 
it means I can actually paint it very easy. And to get those curves that this logo has, it's really good to be able to turn around, or at least for me, it's very easy to be able to turn around the actual thing you're painting. And that makes it far easier to do those curves. And it didn't take too long to do this at all. I was quite surprised actually. And then, and then we end up with the six with the gun in the middle, looking really, really nice on the top there. And then of course I thought, this is my case and it's for the YouTube channel. So I figure I should put my own logo on it. So this I decided to put on the front of the case and I masked it all off. Thankfully, my original design for the logo is very simple. So it, so it just meant getting a compass, drawing two circles, a few straight lines and it was done. All I had to do then was cut it out with a knife and then paint it. And that meant I had a very nice sharp Core Ross logo on the case right on the front and relatively small so it doesn't look too big compared to the actual characters and then I slowly painstakingly took off all the masking tape and then touched up to make sure it was nice and straight and this is the finished product a fully customized case that is very much in the theme of Rainbow Six Siege with some of my favorite characters I love how this has come out I think it looks freaking awesome I am so happy with it and this will become my new editing rig. Currently it is empty, but within the month I'm hoping to have it fully kitted out. So if you have any idea what I should actually put in this, I've already got a good idea myself, but I'd love to hear any feedback on what kind of hardware you think I should put in this case. Now guys, I'm going to leave you with a bunch of different angles of this case. Let me know what you think. Do you think I used the right case? Do you think the design is too simple? Do you think it's perfect? Do you think it's maybe too stylized? Like, can you identify both those operators just by looking at them? And does it fit? You know, this black and white theme came from the original box art that was very much black and white in two halves. And that's kind of where the idea of the black and white kind of uh, paint job came from. So you can let me know what you think of this and if it's a good design. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you very much for the support. To make it to almost 100,000 subscribers is very surreal, it's crazy. I don't exactly have a very YouTube voice. I, I've got no idea how I've got to 100,000, it's crazy. But thank you very much for watching all the videos. Thank you for liking videos, thank you for sharing videos. Thank you for tuning in every day if you do that. And yeah, totally. Thank you very much. This is a hell of an adventure and really crazy to be in this adventure. So thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you next time.